we will learn to draw the diagram of human heart in this video many students find this diagram quite difficult but if we use proper technique and practice the diagram at least 3 4 times we will always get better results a good diagram also always have some symmetry so first of all we will draw a horizontal line which is 7 cm long and obviously it should not be red we will use a pencil to draw this line from the center we will go five lines up and five lines down which means that our diagram will have length of 10 lines and its width will be 7 cm we will start from this end and go one line up and draw a curve joining this point this curve should be bulging outwards now we'll start from the other side we'll go two lines up this time and now we will draw two curves now see carefully this curve is smaller in size and the other one is bigger in size and it should be bulging out heart is present in the center of the chest but it is slightly tilted towards the left side to show that tilt i have put this dot which is approximately 1 and 1/2 cm away from the line now i'll join this point and this point with this dot making or giving slightly round shape at the bottom this bottom part of the heart should not be too much pointed though heart has a conical shape it is narrower at the bottom and wider at the upper part but this should not be too pointed now one more important thing is that the side which is towards our right hand means our right hand side will be the left side of the heart and vice versa after the outline of the diagram we will draw the partition wall between the right and the left side of the heart this partition wall is called as septum we will start from this point it will come down in the form of a curve touching the central point and here so we'll draw and make it double and notice it is narrower towards the top and as it moves downwards it becomes wider i've left it incomplete here because i'll be joining it with the walls of the right ventricle and the left ventricle notice the wall of the left ventricle is thicker than that of right ventricle because pressure of blood is higher in the left ventricle After this we are going to start with the most difficult part of this diagram which is the blood vessels First of all we will draw aorta which starts from left ventricle and aorta will be starting from this dot which is exactly at this location so please notice the location carefully we will start aorta from here and before that we will separate left atrium with the left ventricle through bicuspid valve so these are the bicuspid valves which separate left atrium with the left ventricle along with this valve we will start drawing aorta take it up in the form of a curve and then it will go above the heart also at least two lines then make it a double start from this dot the width of this aorta should neither be too less nor too much actually aorta is the largest blood vessel present in the body so we have drawn blood vessel from the left ventricle now we will draw blood vessel from the right ventricle which is pulmonary artery and this pulmonary artery should also be drawn from this location only so first line we have drawn and slightly turn it from here make it double from this dot and turn now this pulmonary artery takes blood to the lungs and there are two lungs so we'll bifurcate this pulmonary artery into two branches one going towards the right and other going towards the left lung now we will extend this pulmonary artery but this extension will be from behind the aorta so make one line and the other line so we have made this pulmonary artery and bifurcated it again now the blood vessels from ventricles is completed now we will draw blood vessels which bring blood to the atria so first we will start with the left atrium where pulmonary vein brings blood from the lungs so there are two pulmonary veins which pour the blood into left atrium in the right atrium vena cava brings blood from the body 
here at this point we will make superior vena cava which brings blood from the upper regions of the body and here we will make inferior vena cava which brings blood from the lower parts of the body with this we have made all the blood vessels which are linked with heart now we will start giving slight shape wherever these blood vessels have entered the heart and start shading them so each and every part will be now shaded so we have shaded right atrium and the blood vessels now we will also draw a tricuspid valve which separates right atrium with right ventricle and shade it also the arteries associated with heart also have valves so we'll draw valves in this pulmonary artery which will be in the upward direction also in aorta we will draw valves in the upward direction so with this we have drawn each and every part of the heart but see we our diagram is looking untidy to make it neat we will first rub all those lines which are not required this vertical line is not needed by us we will rub it horizontal line also and complete this part which has been rubbed after this we will start shading the walls of the atria walls of the ventricles and also the blood vessels and we will also rub part of the aorta which is present here and this part of the pulmonary artery which is present here so we'll start shading it step by step and this is how our diagram looks now you can see it has started looking neater now see the walls of the ventricles they have become diffused now to make them sharp we will again outline all the walls of the ventricles now it is giving a better look we will shade all the atria ventricles and the blood vessels very lightly now this part is optional if you do not have time during exam you can skip that part but if you have time you must shade it but shade it very lightly we know that right side and left side of the hearts have different types of blood right side has deoxygenated and left side has oxygenated blood now to differentiate between these two halves we will put dots on left side to show that this is oxygenated blood so dots in the pulmonary vein then left atrium left ventricle and aorta so this half of the heart has oxygenated blood we will now show the path followed by blood in the heart so from vena cava it will enter into the right atrium so we will show it with the help of arrows from right atrium into the right ventricle and then to the pulmonary artery on the left side blood is brought by pulmonary vein into the left atrium then to left ventricle and from here to aorta so this path of the blood has to be shown with the help of arrows now comes the labeling part for labeling first of all we will draw horizontal lines for all the parts that need to be labeled preferably labeling should be done on the right hand side and if there is need only then we should label on the left side and labeling should be done with in capital letters so this is the labeling you can check all the parts carefully and label your diagram so we have completed the diagram of sectional view of human heart